So it's about the last, not even 24 hours, I guess. It's kind of the last 20 hours have been like for you. Yeah. Um, obviously, a lot of emotions leaving a leaving a place that where I was for 10 years. But, you know, once I got out of there and got here, I was, I've been very, very excited. Um, I've always wanted to be a part of a organization and a team that um, is really going after winning, is really going after chasing division titles and making a run for a ring. And um, that's what we have here in Seattle, and I'm excited about it. Kind of building off that, Jesse, what have you seen from this team from afar, um, you know, over the past few years? Yeah, um, obviously being on the East Coast, I'd kind of be after our games were, after those games were ending, our games would just be starting. So if I was up late at night, I'd, these guys can hit, these guys can pitch. Well, I have to start saying we, so let me think. <laughs> we can hit, we can pitch, we can play defense. We have a really good club here. Um, it's an exciting team. Heard nothing but great things about the city of Seattle and the amazing fans there. So I'm fired up. Like I'm, I can't wait to go and um, compete. What's this day been like? Just meeting guys and getting used to a new environment. Yeah, it's been great. I I feel like I've been here for a really long time. Um, you know, it feels like home. Um, met a ton of people and have unfortunately forgotten a lot of names as well, but it's going to take me a little bit of time. Um, but I look forward to developing relationships here and friendships and, and really going after this. Thing. Jesse, the closing the door on that Cincinnati chapter, probably easier or harder than it, it appears to be, especially since that's the only organization you had ever known. But considering the, maybe the direction they're kind of going now and the Mariners are kind of trending upward, does that make it a little easier, or is it, was it always going to be tough to leave there? No, I, I think you I think you nailed it. Um, you know, I'm a baseball player first, and I want to be a part of a winning team, a team that prioritizes winning. So that's what we have here, like I said. And so, like, I, I'm, I'm going to – lifelong relationships were made over there in Cincinnati and, and that within that organization, within that city. And um, I – like, my daughter's – my daughter was born at Cincinnati Children's Hospital, and um, I met so many good people over the years. But um, I'm really excited about this new chapter, and um, I can't wait to explore Seattle and have my family come out and, and enjoy this with me. Jesse, uh, Scott said this morning, obviously, you look at their baseball cards, you know what these two guys can do to the lineup, but it's the personality that people don't know. Uh, talk about you know what you guys bring personality-wise to this clubhouse. Oh, man. Um, I, uh, I I really enjoy baseball. I enjoy um, getting to play. I enjoy um, I enjoy being in the clubhouse, being around the guys. Um, it's it's so much fun. Um, obviously, it's a ton of hard work, but it's I really enjoy this game, um, and uh, I just have to have fun with it and uh, just be authentic. And um, Gino is awesome. Gino uh, has, has has always been one of my favorite teammates I've played with. So. I was stoked to see that he was coming here with me, and um, we're excited for sure. How would you describe that haircut that Gino's got rolling? Maybe? That's Gino. <laughs> That's how I would describe that. That's Gino. Um, every time he does something to his hair, he hits like 40 homers. So um, I'm going to be excited to see that. He had a tough year last year in the first half, but everybody says he's going to have a bounce back this year. You've been around him. What do you expect to see from him this year? I expect him to, to be Gino, and um, he's an outstanding person, but on top of that, He's an outstanding player. Um, he can really hit. He's got tremendous power, plays hard, plays good defense, and he cares. He's passionate. Um, great family, too. So uh, nothing but good things for him, and um, he's going to do very well. This team does a lot of creative things defensively and with the DH spot. Have they kind of told you about that and, you know, how you might slot in, whether, you know, obviously going to be playing left field a lot, but have they right. kind of talked about their philosophic philosophies in that regard? Yeah, um, a little bit. Um, I'm sure as, you know, I keep getting my feet wet and um, I'm going to hear about everything. And um, But, yeah, I've heard, and uh, I'm all in. Like, I can't wait. Um, I'm what I ready to go. So it's um I'm excited for, you know, these games here to begin. I'm excited to get some good A Bs in and then obviously get over and, and start the season. What's been most instrumental to you as you've kind of made your way through your first big league years to get to where you're at right now? Who helped with that the most? Uh from like a personal standpoint or where at? Just anybody? Your baseball probably. My family. Um my parents and my brothers—they've just—they've—they've they've been there for me through everything. So, 
they do anything for me, and being able to lean on them um, has been big for me. How much have you been a platoon player? Are you ready to play every day against lefties, do you feel? Yeah, I'm ready. Have they... Have you been a platoon guy mostly in your career? Uh, I think so. Um, not last year, not the year before that. I feel like I, I started to make strides in 2020 last year. Um, I kind of, I, I think I got on base pretty well against lefties, but it's something that obviously I'm looking to keep progressing with, and it just takes reps. It takes ABs, and it takes work and practice, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it. So I look forward to the challenge of lefties, but I look forward to getting them as well. A lot of young guys over here. Um, certainly in that round of BP you took out there, another left-handed hitting outfielder, uh, Jerry Kelnick. What, what were your impressions of him? I've heard nothing but amazing things about him and Julio. Um, Mitch as well. Um, all these guys here, I've heard nothing but amazing, amazing things. So, yeah, Jared's a special player, man. Um, special talent, only 22 years old, built like that, built like a running back. Um Great bat speed, great swing. Um, I'm all for left-handed swings, and he's got a he's got a very pretty one. So it's going to be fun to play alongside him and um, watch him flourish and um, become, you know, a superstar. Uh, I think that's I think that's what he's going to become. Both of those, him and um, him and Julio. So it's uh, it's going to be fun for sure. Jesse, when you when you get to a spring training, always the energy that it's a new season, but a new season where there's a lot of expectations about winning a team that's on the cusp. Do you, does it feel different? Is there an added energy to it, or what do you think when you just even just being here today? Oh, for, oh my God, this is like what you play for. You know, this is what um, I've always dreamed about: um, chasing a division title, um, getting into the playoffs, chasing after a ring. Um, and there's a ton of excitement with that. So I. Uh, yeah, there's definitely a great buzz around here, and it's fun to be a part of it. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm looking forward to these next couple of days, like really being able to um, get very comfortable. I'm, I'm already comfortable, but really being able to get comfortable and, and being able to uh, talk with everybody and get to know everybody more. When a trade happens, we see your name, but we don't see the family's name. And obviously, family's important to you, and, and they're part of this as well. Just your, your thoughts, their thoughts about Seattle now as a, as a new home. I, they're, they're all in. Um, you know, it's. Uh, I think when stuff like that happens, you have to look at it from a personal, personal standpoint. And you know, the Mariners wanted me more than the Reds, and that's perfect because I want to be here, and um, I want to be a part of something special, and I want to be a part of a winning culture and organization. And this this city, this team, that has everything I've always looked for. So I'm looking forward to um, to being a Mariner. And like I said, developing relationships here and, and winning. What's your perspective on what's going on in Cincinnati? I'm not that far removed from a playoff team, and yet it seems to be in kind of a fire sale moment. I can't speak on what's going on there. Um, that's not my job, and um, that's not. I'm not going to sit here and they made business decisions. At the end of the day, this is a business. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to. I'm a Mariner now. As much as I, like I said, some of my best friends I've made in baseball are there, and they're going to continue to be my best friend. But going forward, I'd like to speak about this club and this organization, this this city. Can you learn from another Mariner out there, Ichiro? It was nice seeing him. Oh, 100%. Famer. All of Famer, right? I mean, <laughs> it's so cool seeing him. I've heard amazing things, and obviously his career speaks for itself, and, you know, it was a big honor meeting him today, and um, I look forward to being able to pick his brain and, and um, get to know him as well. Anything else? All right, thanks, guys. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <clears throat>